Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. I want to show you it is 444 on the clock as I'm starting your reading. I will all is well. I will all is blissed with you all. I am definitely feeling really good. Today I had um, a great day with my children. Um, we just kind of like hung out, did a little shopping. And um, now I'm winding down on this Saturn's day. And I will that you all are just really feeling good as well. Um, I felt really, really uh, inspired to do a reading for you all because I have been seeing so many amazing, amazing uh, signs and synchronicities, a lot of angelic messages. Uh, today I went to the store and my receipt rung up to 8484, um, which is pretty much the breakdown of 444. Um, four. <laughs> so um, it was it's just been a lot of a lot of um, divine interventions taking place today. So I really, really wanted to um, do a reading. I just felt compelled to do it. I felt inspired. I saw a lot of beautiful animal totems. I was out working on my my um, my bike this a.m. Uh, and a blue heron flew past me. Uh, and so I literally just was just the start of the day to the to right now. It's just been really a lot of beautiful events. Um, so I wanted to do this reading. I wanted to just tap into the energy, see what's coming in, going out, going on with my beloved Scorpios. We're just going to let it flow. I was going to do a they pray and pray on your downfall series, but I don't even want to bother with that energy. It is literally so draining to. Uh, focus on that energy like it literally makes me cringe <laughs> to be honest with you I feel all the feels you know um, that's when you hear me getting the cussing and, and saying all type of you know eh, kind of like just be coming off of the like the spicy you know shelf <laughs> so, so I want to keep it I want to keep it beautiful I want to keep it on some some love and light energy because that's that's really where the energy is man like I said I had a lot of angelic uh interventions this week divine divine interventions um I showed you one of the signs um that I saw this week when I was doing my Archangel Mikael I showed the picture of my candle um in the instance that I was praying um and the, the interesting thing is I didn't see it immediately. I was initially taking a picture of the heart um, because that's what stood out the most. Um, and when I later looked at it. I was like, oh, my goodness, how did I not see the angel there? So I wanted to share that. Um, also, this a.m. on not this a.m., but a couple of nights ago, I um, I heard an owl hooting outside of my window and I wanted to play that for you all. Uh, and the funny thing is the um, the recording was done. Um, I woke up at 415, I remember. But the time I started to record um, was a little afterwards. And so the funny thing is that the breakdown of this recording, um, it breaks down to 333. So it's very interesting, um, but let me, I'm trying to find the recording right now. Uh, there it is. So I want you to see if you could hear this. Tell me if you can hear this. This was taken a couple of nights ago, um, and it was a bird. Uh, I said a bird. It was an owl hooting right outside of my window, and I was resting, and it was so loud that it woke me up out of my rest. And this is something that happened a couple of months back. Um, Last month, I saw two owls as I was driving. Um, I saw an owl one week, and then the following week, I saw another owl. So um, very, very, very beautiful um, synchronicities that are taking place. And as I always say, I don't feel like these are just um, divine interventions that I am meant to build on. I feel like these are meant to, uh, for me to share with you all whenever I feel um, inspired to share the messages I do. I don't share everything. Because some things I do feel are, you know, specifically for me. But uh, today I felt inspired to share that picture uh, just in case some of you all may need uh, to see just how powerful uh, these 
encounters can be and and how profound the messages are when they do communicate with you you just have to know what you're looking for you have to be in that moment and so i'm going to share the owl hooting and then we're going to go ahead and and delve into the reading and you could see this was on can you hear that Okay, so I want to share that. And as we all know, um, owl totems represent wisdom, wise dome, um, represents major transformations and changes uh, that are coming. You know, there's a lot of, of um, you know, beautiful meanings to uh, the owl totem. So we're going to go ahead, tap into the reading. For anyone that may be new, welcome. I do thank you for tuning and tapping in. Um, for anyone returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love. So uh, right now we have, uh, I'll be sure, and the name of the song is called Right Now. So I am feeling like right now many of you are truly in a very... Uh, very transformative place. I feel like your intuition um, is really heightened, really sensitive at this time. Um, I really strongly feel that there's more of an air of mystery around you. Maybe some of you all are studying um, esoteric or occult information. Maybe you're delving deeper uh, to uh, your spiritual self. Maybe you're tapping into um, you know, the spirituality, maybe you are creating altars and you're devoting more time um, in connecting with your divine archangels, ancestors, deities, uh, different deities and gods and goddesses that you may be uh, working with or summoning even. Um, I feel like you all are obtaining a higher level of understanding um, and also grasping a more evolved perspective of what it is uh, that you may be venturing out on. Um, I do feel like a lot of you have really developed uh, in, you know, some psychic gifts and skills and talents. Um, I'm strongly picking up on the fact that many of you all have been having a lot of maybe uh, lucid dreams. Uh, maybe uh, some of you all have been experiencing uh, insomnia during these times. Uh, maybe some of you have been bumping into certain animal totems. Um, maybe you've been hearing the call of an owl outside of your windows. Um, these are all the ways that spirit, that the angels, the ancestors, uh, that the divine communicates with you. Uh, and it would behoove you to investigate, to delve a little deeper, to investigate the why. Uh, what are they telling you? You know, what is happening to you right now, as I'll be sure uh, was asking um, you to inquire. You know, it's really, really your journey. So you have to delve into uh, discovering or gaining, I should say, a better understanding um, as to why certain things are happening now, because there's really no one outside of yourself or external to yourself uh, that can really answer those questions. Those are more, uh, like I said, that's more of um, your own evolved perspective. So through experience, through the application of the knowledge you've obtained, you now can, you know, stand in that power. And I do feel like many of you are um, in the practice, you're being prepared, you're being pruded, uh, and you are being aligned with your divine purpose. So with all of that said, let's go ahead. Um, for anyone that may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I also am clairaudient. So the way that I read is I incorporate music into my readings and they tend to blend very beautifully with the messages that come out in the tarot cards. Um, my readings are general, so my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign, so check your moon, your rising, check your Venus, your Mercury, your Mars, even check your Vedic sign. Um, Vedic signs for Scorpios uh, would be Libra, uh, so it may be more uh, resonant for you to check those other placements just to get a more clear 
and concise message for you, okay? Um, my readings are also timeless. So whenever you see my video popping up on your feed, whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that was the divine timing for you to do so. Okay, so right now, who's playing? We have music, and this is called Music Soul Child, and this is called Lullaby. Um, so I do feel strongly with Lullaby. Um, I'm just getting a song because that's usually what you would sing to a baby, uh, you know, just so that they could fall to rest so that they could have, you know, sweet dreams. Um, but I also feel like with a lullaby, maybe uh, some of you all could be with child. You're expecting um, maybe you are perhaps even um, dealing with children that are having some difficulty resting. Like I said, uh, maybe some of you all were suffering from insomnia. Um, so with lullaby, maybe that could be a connection to that, uh, where you're just kind of like trying to get rest. Um, maybe what you may need is to listen to like white noise. Um, you could listen to rain. Uh, you could listen to the crackling of fire. Uh, if you go to YouTube, they have an array. They have so many different selections um, and they're all black screen. You could also, you know, search black screen, binaural sounds, uh, which are good for rest. So if you are suffering from insomnia, especially with this lullaby, um, maybe you're trying to listen to certain music so that you would fall to rest. Maybe some of you are trying to read so that you can fall to rest, but maybe you are suffering from, from some sort of um, insomnia. Um, this also could be, because I'm hearing in the back of my mind or in my mind's eye, um, witching hours. So many of you could be waking up during those witching hours, uh, which could mean that your energy is being manipulated. So definitely protect your energy, definitely protect your energy, definitely protect your energy, okay? And I'm going to say that one more again. Protect your energy. Uh, the veil is thin right now, you know, so there's a lot of a lot of dark entities, energies that are literally just like roaming the earth right now. You could literally see who's who. Um, you could even feel it. That's why I, pay, I feel strongly sc Scorpios are, are really tapped in right now where you are like psychic, like you are like really channeling in on the energy, the people around you. You could be strong empaths at this time and you could just be picking up uh, a lot of, you know, un, you know, sultry energy, um, which could make you really, you know, kind of like um, moody. Um, attitudinal. So just be mindful of that. Protect yourself. Wear protective pieces like evil eye bracelets. Wear um, amulets. Wear, you could even wear like certain anointing oils, protective oils. Um, I make a spray, um, which is literally a no bad energy spray. And it literally will just keep all negativity away from you. Um, but you can do certain things. Wear certain stones, crystals. You could keep black tourmaline. You could keep... Um, you could keep a, a, an array of stones, even crystal quartz is good, uh, but keep stones that will help ground you. Um, amber, I'm hearing amber, uh, that keeps you rooted, keeps you grounded. Uh, that's a great stone for Scorpios as well. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to delve in. I'm going to do some house cleaning before we delve into the reading. So let's go ahead and call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth mother Gaia, universe source, the divine most high God, our creator, the ascended masters, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, and Mama Oya to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity, the vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So we have Love Jones um, soundtrack and we have Escape in the Rain. So in the rain, rain is a water element. Rain is um, an element of, that's your element, <laughs> first and foremost. Um, so water, water rules emotions. Water is also a way uh, to heal, to release, to recharge, uh, to recalibrate. Um, water also represents depth. Um, so maybe within the rain, maybe someone could be even crying. Um, maybe there is um, some sentiment of just, uh, a healing, you know, a cleanse, some sort of purge that could be taking place. Because uh, what they're saying is I want to go outside in the rain, um, you know, in the lyrics. 
So, you know, as I said, water can be um, very healing. I know whenever it rains, like whenever um, we get like a good thunder um, and lightning and rain combination, uh, myself and my children, we like to go out and just, you know, bathe in that. We like to stand in that. I'll even try to collect some of that water because it's really good to use in, you know, some of your um, some of your rituals. Um, so it's really, really powerful, powerful energy that comes with the rain. You know, that is also it's very celestial because it's coming from the sky. So uh, maybe some of you all could be cooking up something. Maybe you're getting some of that new moon uh, water if it's raining um, where you are. Maybe you're waiting for the full moon and you're going to get some of that moon water. Um, but it, some of you all could be doing that as well. Um, so in the rain, so let's go ahead. We're going to pick up some messages. We're going to use the numerology deck first and foremost. I like to start off with this deck, bottom of the deck. We have spiritual career. So it's like, you don't go through anything. You grow through it. So I do feel like, uh, some of you all have been students of the craft so much so that you've elevated and have strengthened your spiritual sense. And so now you are, you know, master teachers now you all are prepared um to teach prepared to help others 1616 16. so that's seven 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 is the crown chakra double numbers always to me uh indicates that there's a mirroring so maybe you are attracting uh other soul family soul tribesmen um we have uh lee morgan and the name of this is called uh murphy man um, so with, with, uh, spiritual career, I do feel like with that energy, I am strongly feeling like, cause I first heard Murphy's law. Um, and that literally means like anything that could go wrong, um, will go wrong. Um, but I feel like with a spiritual career, I feel like you may be gifted in an ability to avoid a lot of pitfalls, a lot of, um, unfortunate circumstances because of your heightened uh, psychic abilities or your intuition of you trusting that first instinct. Um, so I do feel like maybe you all are so gifted, so talented that you can uh, make a career out of this. Maybe you all are tower readers. Maybe you are channelers, psychics, as I said, oracles, sages. Uh, maybe you're healer, shamans, light workers. Maybe you work with some sort of uh, heal, um, healing modality like Reiki healing. Maybe you incorporate crystal healing to the Reiki. Maybe you do sound therapy. Whatever it is, I do feel like it is on a, a, a spiritual, psychic um, level that you are able to tap in. Um, and with M Murphy, the reference Murphy, as I said, I first heard of law. So I do feel you're able to um, avoid a lot of, of, of unfortunate um, events, circumstances because of your psychic abilities. Like I'm, I'm seeing the high priestess in my mind's eye, um, you just being that keeper of ancient wisdom. Um, you having um, access, you being able to tap into, um, you know, those doctrines, that information, those scrolls, those ancient scrolls, if you will. And with this being all pink, I do feel like whatever this is that you are doing or tapping into or whatever this is you're being assigned to do, it is going to bring a lot of balance, um, a lot of emotional fulfillment and contentment and success and joy uh, in addition to financial. Um, and I also feel like with the purple on the inside, it has, it has a lot to do with your psychic abilities. Um, so look at that. So you are master manifestors with the manifestation. This is all pink. So you could be really, really tapping in, uh, tuning in, uh, you know, literally co-creating with source right now. We just had the new moon, um, last night. So many of you could have strongly been, um, you know, doing some, uh, some new moon rituals, you know, calling in what you want with these pink cards. You could be manifesting love, doing love rituals. Um, some of you all could just be doing, um, you know, love myself rituals, you know, making yourselves more attractive, loving on yourselves. Um, some of you all could really be uh, manifesting even some sort of wish fulfillment. Maybe it's here, it's coming. Uh, I saw 888 um, today. I saw 777 on license plates. Like I said, my receipt was 8484. That's literally 888. Um, 
this right here breaks down to 15, that's six. So I do feel like there's a sense of like equilibrium, you know, harmony, balance that you feel doing whatever this is. It's like it comes natural. Um, as I said, it was like you were ordained or this is something that is your calling. You were destined to do something and it's bringing a lot of fulfillment, contentment, joy, happiness and peace in your life. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead, shuffle the cards. I see effort here. So you've really been putting in a lot of work and I'm hearing that song by Clips grinding. Um, so you guys have been really, you know, putting boots to the ground. You've been working hard, um, really applying yourselves. And I'm hearing the word ambitious. Um, you've been very ambitious. So you've been really, you know, setting out on these new endeavors, but putting action behind it. You haven't just been kind of waiting for things to like just fall into your lap. You've really been working hard. So I feel a strong sense of like, you know, your wishes, your blessings, um, your prayers are being answered. Uh, because the divine is very pleased, pleased with the work, pleased with your work ethic, uh, pleased with your, you know, your, your unwavering focus, you know, so that's a beautiful, beautiful energy. So let's go ahead. I feel good with that shuffle. We're going to go ahead, cut the deck. And I'm hearing to cut it three times. So we're going to go with three times. This is the second. We're going to go that way. Bring it back, bring it forward, and back. Bottom of the deck is your overall energy, and we have healing here. So no wonder you are being uh, assigned a role as a spiritual um, master teacher, healer, shaman, uh, because you have mastered the art of healing thyself. Um, you had to heal thyself in order to love thyself. And now that you love that self, you know that self. So now you know your worth, you know your value, and you know your purpose, you know your calling. Um, with 6-6, six, six, remember that card um, for, oh man, I forgot what the card was, but it was uh, 78, which was 15, that's 6. So that card was really um, also about balance. It was also breaking down to 6. So I do feel like you're like emotionally in um, equilibrium. You're really uh, very, very... Uh, balanced you know this is all blue so i am feeling strongly like your expression of self is really what has brought uh you back into alignment because it's almost as if you found yourself you found your calling um you found your purpose uh and whenever you find your purpose or you find something that you're just naturally good at it just feels it comes natural so it's 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 an effortless um it's really an effortless uh, thing to do. So I feel strongly um, you all are healers. There is an uh, innate gift that you have, that you possess. And I feel like through heartbreak, you had to open this gift. You had to discover this gift uh, that you were healers, that you were shamans, that you were in fact here to help heal the collective. With this 66, it breaks down to 12. 12 is the three. Um, and so I feel the three of swords energy uh, strongly because that's what you had to heal from. So this came out in the former reading. So this is what the overall energy is. You've become a healer. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. And so with Murphy Mann playing by Lee R Morgan, um, and the name of the album was Charisma. So I do feel like you're, you were very, um, you know, very charismatic in the way that you did this. I'm hearing effortless. I'm hearing that you, you really um, kept composure. Like you didn't step outside of the laws of karma to seek revenge, to uh, be vindictive. Like I feel like you really just focused on the self. And this is a solid blue card. So this really just speaks to, you know, the work and the effort that you've put in to really healing yourselves, healing your inner child, healing familial traumas, generational traumas or curses or yokes, um, really just healing thyself. And with you being able to do that now, you are, you know, very balanced, very poised and very much in emotional equilibrium, psychological equilibrium. Um, you're being seen as someone that is very, very balanced, someone very grounded. Um, and you could also be attracting someone who's also gone through, you know, this process of healing. Uh, so this is someone who's also done their work, um, someone who's also have been through uh, similar uh, circumstances and have now uh, a newfound um, respect, 
um, they've been able to really like take accountability uh, for perhaps some of their uh, past actions. Maybe they too have experienced hurt and pain and trauma uh, and were forced to uh, heal from those things as well. So as not to show up in relationships, perpetuating the trauma or, you know, perpetuating the pain that they felt or projecting it even. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy, Scorpios. So healing, it just shows you've been very, very focused on your healing. And that's where you are right now. So we have pride and this is the number 19. So there was an ego death. Pride is also just, you know, being able to you know, take a step back and look at yourself from a completely different um, vantage point. Like I said, having a more evolved perspective. Um, that's literally what wisdom is. That's what I feel those animal totems that showed up, you know, the blue heron, um, which is really um, a beautiful uh, symbolism of, you know, the presence of God, God being there for you and, and being there to protect you. And then the owl showing up this week um, is also just another uh, strong uh, meaning of, you know, wisdom, wise dome, uh, transformation, growth, uh, evolution, you know. So these meanings, these messages that come through these animal totems, even the number synchronicities that we see on a daily basis, as I said, these are the ways in which the divine communicates with you and lets you know you're on the right path and to keep going and keep growing. So perhaps there was an ego death. Uh, the more you started to encounter some of these divine interventions, these divine encounters, the more you were able to just surrender to the process, surrender to the divine and just let the divine guide you and just trust the process opposed to trying to control it and opposed to trying to control the wheel. It's like, you're not in control of nothing. You know what I'm saying? There's a saying, if you wanna make God laugh, Tell them your plans. So it's like you may have very well had a plan with a particular person and thought you were going in a particular direction with that relationship or with those friendships. You thought that you were going to start a business with some of your best girlfriends or your best guy friends. And then it just caused a lot of internal uh, mayhem, chaos. Uh, you started to see people's true colors. You couldn't really trust people because folks were stealing. Folks wasn't doing what they were supposed to do. People were taking, you know, complete um, advantage of a situation. Um, so it's like you had to take a step back. So maybe pride is something now that has been deflated because this is the tent. So I do feel like there was some sort of ego death. I feel like, you know, also this is reminding you not to be too proud to ask for the things you need. Delegate, um, you know, because that's also a show of self-love, self-care, knowing your worth, knowing that there has to be an equal exchange give and take. So not feeling like you have to overcompensate, uh, but also knowing that your worth is to also receive, that it's that you're deserving um, enough to receive. So with this ego death, with this pride here, um, I'm strongly feeling like there was uh, perhaps even someone who was very egotistical. Um, you know, I'm hearing conceited, um, you know, it's me, 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 um, you know, just because they had a really inflated ego because this is just the type of, um, you know, people they may have been around is just people who just kind of stroke that ego, people who just kind of made them feel, um, you know, like it was all about them. Um, and then we have J Jodeci right now singing you and I. Um, so I do feel like, you know, with you and I, maybe this person now is starting to, uh, look at a connection, you know, but that you may have had with them, um, realizing that perhaps, cause the name of this album is called forever, my lady. So maybe this person now realizes that with you and them, um, it was just more, it was more of, uh, one of those connections that was just, it was a real connection opposed to maybe something else was a little more, um, it was just a little more uh, artificial, superficial, I should say. It's a better fit. It was just more superficial. So maybe some material things, you know, like I said, conceited. You know, those are people that are more so focused on the external or the exterior, you know, that, that external look of something opposed to the internal. And so maybe, you know, someone has had uh, some sort of ego death. You know, maybe that was just a facade for one's insecurities. Um, and now, you know, they're starting to realize, you know, with the all purple card, I am strongly feeling like 
there's a lot of um, divine interventions. Uh, someone's trusting their intuition. Maybe they're sending out messages telepathically or intuitively. Uh, with this orange, that's the sacral. So I feel like, you know, that sacral deals with that Aphrodite energy. So there could strongly be a strong, uh, strong attraction. Um, attraction to your growth, even attraction to whatever it is that you may be doing because maybe they follow you on social media so they may know that you just started a business or you just got promoted or you just relocated overseas or that you just purchased your dream home. You know, this is really an energy of somebody that's like really in awe, you know, like they like what they see. And with Forever My Lady, um, as the name of the album, I'm really feeling strongly like this is somebody that has never really let you go um, emotionally, like they still hold on to you. Um, so they they think about you a lot. I strongly feel there's a lot of dream activity or a lot of, um, you know, thoughts floating around their, their head. And maybe they're going to, you know, they're going to uh, swallow their pride and they may take a, a step forward. They may come out of hiding um, because, you know, this 19, you know, every ending. You know, it's a new beginning. So that's an ego death. So that means whatever it is that they were hiding, they're now going to come out and profess it. They're going to show a little more courage uh, because those feelings are intensifying. There is this build up. You know, these emotions are building up uh, because with you and I, this person can't picture life without you in their life. So without you in it, they're, you know, they can't see themselves with anyone else other than you and them because with you and I, you know, it's literally like they, they're they professing this. This is a love song by Jodeci. So this is a beautiful song. And so what they're saying is, hold on, I want to give you the lyrics. This is one of my favorites by them too. I'm catching it at the end of the song, but what they're saying is you and I... Can, will never um, stop. You and I could reach the top. Um, you and I, you and I could come so far. Like it's just, it's just like you and I. So it's basically like that yin yang, that twin flame vibration. So as I said, like they can't envision or picture life without you and them. You know, it's like it's either you or it's no one is what I'm getting. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to see what the energy of the person that Scorpio is attracting. What's the energy of the person that Scorpio is attracting? What is the energy of the person Scorpio is attracting to them? <laughs> we have a message of love and light, beautiful spirit. Thank you so much. And we got a couple of flip overs. It comes natural. Like I said, all are natural. Maybe some of you all are all natural. Maybe some of you soul sisters out there got naturals. Maybe you got your hair locked. Maybe you wear your hair braided. You know, natural is literally just like not processing your hair, just really just blowing it out, um, just taking care of the health of it, you know. Um, but maybe you're just natural. You just got a natural beauty. You know, maybe this person sees you as someone very grounded, someone very much like that nurturer, that lover, that healer, that maternal or paternal energy, you know, that divine feminine, divine masculine. This is someone who definitely feels like the connection can grow with you or their feelings have grown for you, like their love for you has grown. This number 74 breaks down to 11, so they can absolutely see you, like I said, as their twin flame soulmate, because that 11 is the vibration of soulmates. You know, this is two individuals who have really done the work, healed themselves, mastered themselves, and now they're coming into a situation where they can give of themselves equally. You know, so there's an equal exchange, equal give and take. Uh, some of you all could have been born in 1974. Some of you all have could have just turned 47. Um, some of you could have been born on 1111, 116, 1112, 113, 117, 114. Um, but I do feel like this person and you, I feel like this person also feels like they could just speak to you without speaking to you. So it's like a chemistry that the two of you may share so it's like you may not even need to speak words in order for you to know what this person is thinking or vice versa uh, maybe the two of you have such a strong connection where it's just like you know when you get on the phone with them it's like 
you know, the phone call ends four or five hours later because it's just like it just flows. Um, maybe this person feels like, you know, you just you get them, you know, like, you know, not many people can get their their quirkiness or get their wit. Uh, and you do, you know, maybe this person also, like I said, communicates to you telepathically, intuitively. Um, I'm definitely feeling strongly that this person also may really love to be out in nature. Um, you know, they may be someone that likes to hike. Um, they may like to do a lot of things out in nature, like, you know, fish. They may like to, you know, swim. Um, they may like to go to the beach often this could be someone who could have earth in their chart um, but I do feel this is just a very natural very organic um, connection uh, that this person may feel with you like you really ground them like you're down to earth um, we have um, gang star and this is called take it personal so I do feel like this person really um, takes it personal if the two of you are not communicating um, maybe this person is feeling like, you know, you may have cut them off or ghosted them. Uh, maybe something may have transpired. Uh, they do take it personal also if they offended you or if they did something um, which could have caused you hurt. It's like they take that personally. So it's like there's a bit of shame is what I'm picking up on that. Maybe, you know, with the 74, it reduces to um, 11, like I said. So that's two. So maybe this person really uh, was caught up in, you know, a relationship or a connection. Um, and maybe, you know, someone was not really transparent with what was going on. They could have been in two minds or trying to juggle, attempting to juggle. But when they, you know, may have bumped into you, things just really happened organically and naturally so much so that it had them second guessing, um, you know, and maybe someone is taking it really personal that this person is second guessing their connection. Uh, maybe they are in a karmic relationship or a karmic connection with someone that, you know, is really now looking at perhaps looking back in awareness to see that thing, you know, what I did, you know, um, wasn't really truly how I truly felt. I was really hiding. I, that was pride. That was my ego. And so now that they're coming out of that, that, that ego death, and they're now looking at things from a different perspective, a different vantage point, um, they're able to, to kind of like, um, you know, they're able to sympathize with you and the way they may have treated you or misbehaved or um, ran away, gave you mixed signals. So now it's like, you know, this is a grounding that's taking place. There's, there's great healing also. Um, and we have surface here. And this is called closer than just friends. So maybe this was a friend of yours, um, maybe a colleague, someone you worked with, someone that you met at your job, someone you met within your community, someone you used to live around. Um, and maybe you all just were friends, you know, just platonic friends. And maybe you felt deeper, you felt stronger. Maybe they felt deeper and stronger, but you never took it to the next level so as to not sabotage the relationship or to, to change the relationship. Um, but there was just this natural, you know, flow to, and, you know, to the way that things happen. And so this person now could be looking back, um, saying that they want to be closer than just friends. And it's because they feel the spiritual connection, the spiritual bond with you. Um, there's a lot of telepathic communication, psycho, psychic communication, intuitive communication, floating and fluttering around between the two of you. Um, and I do feel like this energy here with spiritual partnership uh, this could really, you know, um, allude to the fact that there may have been like uh, some sort of past life connection bond or soul tie. Uh, with 27, I do feel like things are uh, being, you know, prudent behind the scenes, like your angels, your guides, your ancestors uh, could literally be, you know, trying to uh, align you with this person uh, after you all have done this healing. 38, 38, that's 11, 11 on the clock. So this is a twin flame. As I said, I felt like both people, you and another person were both healing. And so with closer than just friends playing, absolutely, this is a twin flame. So this is someone that you've never been in a relationship with. Uh, so this is, I'm hearing this is for some of you all. So whoever this person is that you are twin flames with, this would be someone that you were friends with, um, but you were never in a relationship with this person. But you always felt that the two of you were closer than just friends. There was something more that you wanted to explore, but maybe you just didn't. 
um, because you didn't want to taint, I'm hearing the word taint, um, the relationship. But this is a spiritual partnership. And then this is someone who's also um, just as psychic, intuitive, um, and just as much a practitioner in the craft as you. So this is the type of person that, you know, back in the days when we had phones that you actually would dial. You know, I used to have a rotary phone and then I also had the push button phone. But back in the days, there was a time where you would go to dial someone's number with the rotary phone and you go to pick up the phone and the person you were going to call, they were already on the phone because they were calling you at the same time that you were going to call them. So that's a synchronicity that can't be, you know, that can't be faked. That's why I was picking up in the former reason, like there's a chemistry that can't be fake. Like some people can pretend very well. But chemistry and connection and energy, things like those, that, that can't be faked. It's just something that is felt, you know. That's why the words don't even need to be spoken for you to know what someone is thinking. So that's the type of connection and bond um, that you have with someone that you are attracting to you. Uh, and as I said, this was a friend that you've never been in a relationship with. Um, we got Capone Noriega, Noriega featuring Mob D and tragedy and this is called la la so maybe someone was off in la la land like i said dealing with a karmic um maybe they were in a karmic relationship for a very long time and they were trying to be committed because this nature card is giving me the vibration of you know someone that was in a marriage or someone that was in a long-term commitment maybe they was maybe they were in a relationship for up to 11 years um you know but this is someone that felt like this is where they were supposed to be because this is where they invested a lot of their time and their energy um, into. But they feel closer to you. You know, you feel closer than just a friend to them. And maybe this is something that they ne may never have expressed to you or professed to you, um, but you felt it, you know. And so with spiritual partnership, absolutely, this is a very deep connection. This is, we're about to clarify or pull the card for how they feel about Scorpio and we got spiritual partnership on the bottom of the deck. So they do feel that there's a strong soul connection, soul tie, maybe even a past life connection. Like I said, this is the type of person that when you meet them, you're going to feel like you've met them already. You're going to just know what their interests are. You're going to have a likeness to everything. You're going to like the same type of music, genre of music. You're going to like the same type of food. You're going to drink the same type of wines. You're going to have the same type of conversation. They're going to stimulate you in a way that you look for, that you're checking for. They're just going to speak your love language on many levels, same principles and, and, and characters and, and attributes that you seek. They're going to possess. They're going to have those qualities. And the same thing for you, for them is going to be like a vice versa. So it's literally like a too good to be true scenario. That's what I'm picking up. And with spiritual partnership, this is in the incubation status and it's ready to be birthed because nine is the highest number of change. So this is about to change very quickly for you. So let's see. How does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? My spirit. How does this person feel for our beloved Scorpios? And they have a message of love and of light. So spiritual partnership is on the upright. And then I also have, look at this, follow your dreams. So this person sees you as wish fulfillment. They see you as someone that they have prayed for. Like I said, I was picking up on someone that could have been like literally, you know, kind of praying and wishing and hoping. Look at this. We got self-love also in the upright. Let me see what else is in the upright. I see another card, spirituality here. And those very well may have been the cards that were in the upright before that I never expounded because I got so deep in the, the build about the nature card, bottom of the deck, karma completion. I can't make this up. So this is what there there's a completion of a karmic relationship. And this is why there is this separation. This is why there is this coming together, because you got to first release the past, that X, that whatever, so that the new can come in. So the first card I saw was the spiritual partnership. And then we saw follow your dreams. So this is the epiphany, the aha that someone has had. Like I said, they feel you're closer than just a friend. So they're going according to how they feel. And these feelings are something that are intensifying. They can no longer contain themselves or control it. They were in La La Land because we have La La playing by Capone and Noriega featuring Mob Deep and Tragedy. So whatever they was dealing with, 
it was not this type of bond and connection and soul tie. Maybe that was just a karmic relationship that they had to heal from, same as you. You know, maybe this person realizes that you also were dealing with a karmic relationship and you had to break way, part way with that karmic so that you two can come into union. But they feel strongly that the connection they have with you, the synergy, the chemistry, it is not something that is faked. This is something that they feel the need to follow. And this 85 reduces to 13, which is four. So this is an energy that this person feels. You bring stability. You bring that sense of security. They know they can build with you. They know that if they are to build with you, it's going to be built with a, on a solid foundation because you have morals, you have principle, you have self-love, self-care. You know your worth. Self-love came out. So this person knows that you've worked very hard on healing that self. And in healing that self, you now love yourself. And when you love that self, then you know yourself. So that means you're now knowing what your likeness is, what you deserve, what you ought to cut out, what boundaries you need to set, what standards you need to apply or have. And so with this self-love, this is what make, what's making you far more attractive. With this 61, that's seven again. So the crown chakra. So not only do they find you physically attractive, but they're also attracted to your mind, the way that you speak, the way you think, you stimulate this person. And with follow your dreams, they feel the need to, you know, come back to you, to come towards you because they see you as wish fulfillment. That four is also 11, 11. And remember, I saw 38, 38 on the clock. And so it was just 45, 45 when I said that. So that's nine, nine. So like I said, with that nine that was just showing up, and I was saying the incubation status, this is literally, it's about to be birthed. This, this connection is about to come into fruition. This person is about to come out of hiding uh, because maybe they have been working really hard on healing themselves the same as you so that they could come towards you balanced, so that they could come to you healthy, so that they could come to you as a whole person opposed to becoming to you broken down, beaded and battered. So this, they see you as someone that is their spiritual partner, you know, someone that they can really build with someone they have a strong connection and we have um swing out sister and this is called breakout so they're going to break out of their shell this person is literally has been holed up kind of like in hermit mode or maybe even in that hangman status where they were forced in, an, in that sacrificial position to look at things from not just their perspective, but also from the perspective of another person. And remember, we had La La playing by Capone and Noriega. So I do feel like maybe this person was up in La La land because I was picking up on the fact that someone was really uh, kind of conceited and going after the lookers, so to speak, or the finest person with the finest car and the finest jewelry and the prettiest hair, lashes, nails, and but not going after the person that has, you know, that, that beautiful spirit. So maybe they were really chasing, you know, their tail in that regard or chasing tail in that regard. Um, and that's a very immature way to, to um, you know, to seek love you ain't you're not going to seek love by going after you know those superficial uh you know qualities when you start like searching deeper and and, and doing more internal investigation you you learn that those people are really like you know it's vacant like there's nothing nobody's home like knock 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 you like knock on their head nobody's home they just a face they're just a trophy they just look good on your arm but you try to sit down and have a, a more in-depth deep conversation and it's just like it's like birds. It's like nothing. So this person now sees the breakout um, is that, you know, they're going to break through that ego death. They're having this this aha moment, this epiphany. Um, they've had this, you know, this uh, evolved perspective, so to speak. And with you, like I said, things were just natural, more organic. You were down to earth. Uh, you were more informed. Um, you were more experienced. Even they may see you as very creative um, on top of being beautiful. You just full package or total package is what I'm hearing with spirituality. This is another double number. So seven, seven, as I said, this is also someone that's in the, in the craft. This is also someone that really um, is is sensitive to energy as well. And I feel like the more work they did on themselves uh, through grounding, maybe they started to go out in nature and they started to have their own little divine counter, um, you know, interventions or had their own little synchronicities uh, take place in their life. And they started to have those that awakening, you know, the grand awakening, um, because if you are in a real twin flame connection, it's like the more work you do on yourself, it's more work 
that your person is being activated and triggered to do on themselves. So with spirituality, this is seven, seven, that's 14, that's five. I feel strongly this person communicates very strongly. Like they communicate with you through this means because there's no other communication because I feel strongly that this person may still be breaking free from a karmic relationship. I feel like this person has never expressed to you their attraction or their, 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 um, their um, attraction or even their, their um, there's a word I'm looking for, but I can't grasp it. So they, they're not, they've never communicated their attraction to you on a deeper scale because like the song was saying, surface, they kept everything on a surface level, um, closer than just friends. They always felt closer than just your friend. And I feel like you knew that, you felt that because you would feel the tingling in your stomach, the, the little, you know, you, you would feel that 49, 49. So what is that? That's nine. What's that? Um, that's four, four. So that's eight. So they, they, it's like, you knew it was like, you knew because that was like your sixth sense, your innate, um, skill, your, your, your psychic abilities picking up on the fact that like, there's something deeper here. I feel like when you first met whoever this is, or when you first meet them, if you haven't met them, it's like when you first have that conversation, it's like you two are going to just kind of gravitate to each other. It's not even going to be a situation that's going to be like, um, that's going to be, um, it's going to be effortless is what I'm trying to say. So it's like you, you may just catch eyes across a room and just kind of float towards each other. That's the type of vision I'm seeing because that's the type of connection this is like. So this is a spiritual connection. The word spiritual has come out twice and there's a lot of purple. You got purple in this person's uh, symbol in their heart. You know, the heart of the matter for them within their symbol and then it's all green so this is absolutely someone who's emotionally intelligent and this is also someone that communicates with you on a telepathic mess uh, level because they know that you are strongly intuitive so as i said if you do knew, know who this is that's how they communicate with you to keep you know themselves um to keep themselves relevant in your life because there isn't communication I don't feel like there's any verbal communication. I don't feel like there's any connection outside of this person really holding on to you, um, you know, on an energetic level. Um, so with spirituality, you're able to pick up on that and they know that, which is why they do it. And they see you as wish fulfillment. And with this self-love, this is what's attracting these individuals, um, this individual to you is the fact that you are now exuding love, confidence, strength, courage, wisdom. Um, you are now exuding this beautiful vibration of someone that is very balanced and, and ready for love. Like, you know, maybe in the past they couldn't see themselves with you because maybe they saw that shadow version of you. So they just said, Hey, you know, Scorpio is good enough to be a friend. But now that they've seen this transformed you know, version of you. It's like now they are looking at themselves like, damn, am I good enough for Scorpio now? Because maybe they were going after all of that superficiality, like I said, because of their own insecurities, you know? And so in their mind, they felt like, they, you know, having a dime or having somebody with a car and all these other uh, superficial or material possessions equated to something like, oh, you made it or you got, you know, that, that, that goals, you know, but it's like, no, this is someone that was living some sort of lie that was living in la la land because what they need is they need someone to speak love language as well because they are also uh you know an emotional being they're spiritual which means that they they can't deal with just surface level anything just like you so the bond the connection that they had with you felt with you was more on a spiritual level um which is why that purple is on the inside because that's the heart that's what they that's what speaks to their that's their love language you know that's what speaks to them is the fact that you know th that you could connect on a deeper level not just be a face, a cute face. Um, on top of all of that, you are attractive, but maybe they didn't see those other qualities that you now possess because you've done your work. As I said, you, this is a solid blue. So you've re literally done some deep, deep, deep soul work. Um, you've really healed, you know, from not just this 
lifetime, but I feel like you've healed former lifetime traumas from former lifetimes and you've broken those chains that have really anchored you on many levels. And we could see here clearly with karmic completion, um, this is the bravo. This is the standing ovation from your angels, your guides, your spirit team, the ancestors really congratulating you and um, showing their their gratitude, their their um, their uh, how proud they are uh, of you for doing that work. So that's beautiful. And I feel like you were able to do that because you, you just kind of, like I said, surrendered to the divine. Um, yeah, we got uh, parenting, leadership underneath. I said surrender to the divine, and here goes surrender. See that? So as I said that word, there it is. And I feel like a lot of y'all had to heal from perhaps like familial traumas. Maybe you were dealing with a karmic relationship with the mother or father of your children, and you've completed that very difficult uh, you know, relationship, chapter, lesson, and now you've taken control with the leadership card here. You've taken control of your life. You've learned to forgive those who knew not what they were doing. You know, this is really about taking accountability as well. Um, being honest, showing up in the relationships, you know, healthy, you know, so let's go ahead. Let's, let's tap in tune in. Let's get some additional messages. It's already an hour in. I don't want to do this too long. So let's see what else we're going to pull. For my beloved Scorpios, what messages? Let me see. Uh, let's go with the. All right. I want to go with a new deck um, that I've created. I want to do a new deck. I want to do a new deck. And so we have. Um, we have. Who is this? So we have Dave East, and this is called um, Corey, but we have um, the, the name of the album is called Paranoia. So absolutely, you know, somebody was probably up in their head paranoid. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to get some messages from my deck I created. We're going to go ahead, pull these messages from my beloveds. And we have uh, Mama Yemen Yah just stuck out to me. So this is the Divine Feminine, the Mama energy very beautiful energy we got dreams don't forget them and remember we have um follow your dreams here on um that came out for how this person feels about you what's hidden in the energy of spirituality and the outcome is self-love so dreams don't forget them and it says they are more than something you wake up from believe so someone definitely could have been a little paranoid when it came to this relationship like i said maybe they were being a little aloof you know maybe they didn't really know I do feel like someone had to disconnect um, and unplug, you know, from people, places and things um, because maybe they started to, you know, reflect, like I said, reflect on maybe their behavior, on their arrogance, maybe on their childishness, on the way that they came off. I do see that you're loving on yourself, taking care of yourselves. Some of you all, I hear the word pampering. So you could be getting like massages on a frequent basis. It's like you go for one and you, you, you know what I'm saying? You booking into, you know, three, four, five months from now because, you know, that's a part of your self-love. That's a part of your love languages, you know, to, to love on yourself, to be delicate and care for yourself. Um, there goes the synergy card. So whoever you're attracting, like I said, there's this strong chemistry and this is bringing a lot of love and happiness because this is, in fact, a spiritual union, spiritual partnership. This is that yin yang, yang to yin type of vibration, you know. And I, I feel a lot of you all are being really, um, really calm, uh, you know, really conscious of what you're eating, what you're ingesting, what you're, you're just really uh, focused on what you're eating. Because when you look, when you when you feel good, you look good, you know, or when you look good, you feel good, I should say. And so it's like now you're being more conscious or cognizant of what it is you're eating. You know, um, I want to share with y'all something because um, this might be for some of you all. Uh, but start checking your labels of the food you're you're purchasing in the stores, because when I tell you um, every item my daughter and I picked up, um, it there was literally like. GMO is in everything, you know, genetically modified, engineered is everywhere in every item, anything you could think of. We picked up a bag of um, kettle cooked uh, chips 
low sodium, turned the bag over, and there was a warning saying that these chips contain ingredients that may cause birth defects and cancer. <laughs> And I, I'm going to show you. So for whatever reason, if you all are not being, um, you know, cognizant of what you're ingesting, uh, start taking precaution. Um, do your due diligence to look at um, the ingredients. Look at the back labels of the foods that you're purchasing because it truly, um, there's, there's poison in everything. So it's really getting down to the wire um, in terms of, you know, really having to take care of yourselves um, and not just assuming that everything is good, you know. So, you know, really take precaution to be healthy, um, to mind what you're, uh, what you're eating. So let me see. I'm trying to find the picture. Oh, man, where's that picture at? Oh, my daughter sent it to me in a text. Hold on. My bad, my bad, because I had her send it to me. Oh, man, what's going on? Oh, here it is. All right, so this was just the other day. Me and my daughter were in the store, and these are some kettle-cooked chips. And if you look right here, I'm going to put this up to the thing. Look what that says. Can you read that? So please be mindful of what you're eating, you know, so whatever you're ingesting, like be mindful because I just saw the be healthy card and that's confirmation. So my phone just went off as I was showing you that. So be mindful, you know, start exercising more, start getting out there, um, walking, drinking water, um, ride your bike. I, I, even if you do it, you know, for a half an hour every day, you know, just moving, uh, making sure to, you know, eat more leafy vegetables, you know, even the vegetables are being, you know, modified as well. So, you know, you can't even trust that. But just read your labels. I feel compelled to tell you, read the back of the box and see what it is you're ingesting. Because food is literally uh, being turned into poison. Like it's literally killing people right now. People are wondering why folks is dying of cancer and this and that. Well, the back of that label of bags of chips is saying that the contents of what they have put in it. Like what could you possibly put in chips that's gonna cause birth defects and cancer? That's like intentional. Chips is nothing more than fried potatoes. Like, so what are you really doing here? So it's like, that's an intentional thing. So you gotta be mindful of what you're, what you're eating. So I digress. I just wanted to share that with you all. But yes, the person you're attracting, there's a synergy, a chemistry, it is undeniable. And this person is drawn to you. So no matter how much they tried to fight it, how much they tried to deny it, how much they tried to say, no, we just friends. That feeling that they felt whenever they was around the butterflies, they were real, beloved. They were real. And vice versa. If you felt it, it were real for you too. This person may call you, contact you, um, and say, let's chill. Um, this is Guy. The name of the album is The Future. So this person, like I said, they could see a future with you and them. Because remember, we had Jodeci, Forever My Lady. Um, that was the name of that album, and it was You and I. So this person can see you and them uh, living a very beautiful, um, prosperous, uh, fulfilling life together. Confirmation. And that's all about forward movement. That's the train. So let's go ahead and get these messages from my beloveds. My spirit 11 light. What messages you have from my beloved Scorpios? And we're going to... Yeah, I was feeling like there was a block. It says blocka, blocka, blocka. I think snata. So yeah, you may have blocked this person because maybe you felt like they was playing with your emotions. I was picking up with the 74. It reduces to 11. That's two. So this person could have been in two minds. Could have been juggling. You know, they could have been in a relationship you could not have known. Maybe you did know and they had you thinking they was leaving or maybe this person was just trying to keep you around because you made them feel good. But they was never, you know, intending on leaving that person. My little Katara literally just laid down next to me. Hey, baby girl. Hi, friend, friend. Hi. That's my little lady. That's my Katara. My little kitten. Well, she ain't no kitten no more. She's just tiny. She's a tiny cat compared to Lola Bear. She's a big old girl. But family time and build, connect, check in. See that? This person definitely sees you as family. 
And with Let's Chill, they may call you and just invite you out, you know, to go sit down, you know, pour libations, sit down, have a chit chat, listen to some live music, you know, have a little candle lit dinner, you know, let's chill, you know, maybe even sit down, watch a movie, you know, listen to music. Maybe they'll invite you over to their home. Um, and have dinner cooked. I'm hearing fried fish. Maybe they know you like fish, whatever it is. But with thunderclap and prepare, take shelter, this is a card which speaks to communication. So just because it says prepare, take shelter doesn't mean that it's always bad news. This is just unexpected. You know, when the thunder claps, that's an unexpected event, natural event. I spoke of thunder and lightning earlier. So, you know, as I said, you know, and that was, um, I want to go outside in the rain playing by escape. So this was someone trying to escape their feelings, their emotions, and maybe they will, you know, surprise you with, um, some communication. Um, maybe they'll surprise you and hit you up and, and invite you out, say, Hey, let's chill. Uh, maybe they'll just, you know, cook a dinner for you or whatever. Um, I feel like the intention is to heal this connection, to to bring balance, to restore the balance, um, to even bring um, restoration of the communication. Because I feel like the communication got broken down um, with laws of attraction. Look at that. It says manifestations of your dreams, your hopes and your desires. So this person does see you as their wish fulfillment because this is what and how they feel. We got spiritual partnership and follow your dreams as how they feel about you. And we're about to clarify their energy of nature. So they naturally are drawn to you. This is laws of attraction. So this is, remember, and I was speaking of Murphy's law earlier, anything that could go wrong. Um, and, you know, it does. But, you know, maybe that's what happened with this connection. It's like every time y'all tried to get on the good foot, something unexpected happened. Somebody came in, blocked it. It was just a lot of blocks, delays. And maybe that was not by your doing or theirs. Maybe that was someone manipulating the energy because I was picking up strongly on like, you know, witching hours, insomnia. Uh, so maybe someone caught wind of the fact that someone had these feelings or maybe someone could just feel that they're not really there. They're not present. And remember, we had karmic completion. So they could be in a karmic relationship relationship trapped in a karmic cycle and so they could be really just trying to figure out how to navigate that to end it to move forward so with this laws of attraction the synergy the chemistry they feel with you is why they feel drawn like I said earlier they're drawn to you because that was what was under synergy so let's see why is 74 nature here uh, for the person Scorpio is attracting we have a message of love and of light and with future, I feel like this person definitely is someone that is going to be in your future. We got emotional roller coaster ride, time to get off. So how they feel is they're in a relationship that is causing them a lot of emotional chaos, mayhem, um, up and down. You know, it's just like they're in a relationship that is literally like one minute is up, next minute is down. So it's the highs and the lows. And it's really just causing them a lot of frustration because they're ready to get off. So that karmic relationship has run its course. They feel like they're in this emotional upheaval one minute and the next minute, everything is supposed to be good and they're tired of it. So this dual energy, you know, it's almost like, you know, Dr. Jekyll missed the hide. They may be dealing with someone that's just like very bipolar, um, you know, in their attitude, in their energy. Um, and so we got Roxette and this is called the look. So what did I say about somebody going after people who was just, you know, attractive? So this is what's causing the emotional roller coaster because it's like they was in a superficial relationship. We got Roxette the look and it says look sharp as the name of the album. And they said she's got the look. So what did I say? This person was definitely dealing with people who, you know, and this could be a, fe a female dealing with, like I said, the fellas who were really just, you know, ballers, if, if that's what you want to call it. Somebody with a good car, nice car, nice jewelry, you know, somebody who's trapping whatever the hell they be doing with, you know, to get all that extra cash. But they was just going with somebody for the look. It was all an appearance. It was all just an illusion. It was like, you know, on the outside, it looked like this perfect little connection. And on the inside of the house, it was just chaos. 
It was mayhem. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you know, it was literally like the tower was burning. So this person is, t is ready to, to get off this roller coaster ride, you know, to get out of, you know, get out of this illusion, you know, to stop playing these games um, because they want to they want to heal. Uh, this is somebody who's looking at things from a different perspective. I was picking up on that hangman energy with this person or picking up on someone in the hermit mode where they are really taking that time to do those internal self audits. And so now that they've done that internal work, they're looking at the situation like, damn, there's a lot of like, you know, it, it, there's a lot of chaos here. You know, I can't even ground myself in this energy because it's just up and down. But with Scorpio, that connection is still here in the back of my mind, maybe in the frontal lobe. You know what I'm saying? This is somebody that, that keeps you. You're like you're present in their mind. And so this person knows that 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 karmic relationship is time for them to part ways. What did I say about somebody being attracted to you and they could be watching you? You know, this is someone tuning in. So with their tuning into your channel, it says social media, driving by your home, looking at pics. And it says obsessed, secret admirer. And then it says stalker alert. So with spiritual partnership, this is definitely someone who could be all of the above. <laughs> like they could literally be stalking you. They could become, you know, becoming obsessed because, as I said, you know, you always are more attracted to something you can't have um, opposed to something that, you know, you could get easily. So it's like, you know, th th that runner chaser. And when the runner no longer chases, it's like, you know, the one that was being chased turns around to find that the runner isn't chasing after them no more. So now they want to go see what the runner was, you know, what the chaser was doing what, what what's the chaser up to so now they get to chasing after you or watching you or studying you in private or you know kind of like admiring you from a distance because it's almost like i said like you've taken your power back you've discovered self-love you discovered your purpose you discovered self-respect you know to, to have some integrity and so now that you've been busy healing yourself you become a grand master teacher you become a grand healer you've become someone that has applied the those very things to 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 improve your own self um and so now the spiritual partnership is something this person feels they can have with you because maybe they're learning a thing or two in watching you you know this person is tuning in so maybe they picking up some of them jewels you dropping and they're and they're applying it and that's what's leading them to say like okay it's time for me to get off this emotional roller coaster ride because i'm noticing a lot of toxic tendencies from my karmic and so this is a, a, a moment of enlightenment for them so they're they're tuning in um and they like what they see because you have grown you've matured um and this is something that now they they're, they're feeling you know even more attracted to you with law of attraction that's just like that's a natural order um we got tiana taylor um featuring fabulous and jadakus and the name of this album is called the misunderstanding of tiana taylor so they definitely misunderstood you um, because Scorpios are not one to easily understand, you know, you, you're going to have to peel a couple of layers back to get even to, you know, just the surface, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That scorpion has that tough, you know, that they, they have that shell. So there, there's, it takes a lot for you to, to be able to even crack the surface, uh, to even begin to understand us. So you, you, you can't just look at the outer appearance and think you got us figured out. And so that's what this person is realizing. They misunderstood you. Um, and they definitely, took you for granted you know uh and it's not misunderstood it's like misunderstood or mr understood and it's because you know now they're seeing that you're rare like you're someone very special you know this you're someone very very um unique you 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 are really grounded you're really really gifted um you're really spiritual uh the things that you say you do you don't just talk because you have lips and they've seen the transformation they've seen the growth they've seen the work that you've put into yourself, into, you know, healing yourselves, into improving yourselves. And these are the things that are drawing this person to you and forcing them to do their own internal work um, because they realize like, you know, they've been living a lie. They've been living in la la land. You know, we had, you know, uh, Noriega and that's what they realize and about themselves is like they were not, you know, grounded they damn self, you know. So now looking at you, watching you, there's just something about your energy, your chemistry that is very magnetism, um, magnetizing or very magnetic, which pulls them, draws them to you. So why is spiritual partnership here? Thank you, spirit. Card flew all the way over here. 
says trust issues. I've been hurt and I am afraid to be hurt again. So this person knows, like I said, that they've hurt you uh, because we did have before it said closer than just friends. We also had another song um, which was alluding to the fact that they may have felt a little bit of shame, a little remorse. Um, you know, because there's, there's a sense of ego death, like they're starting to look at things. They're starting to gain a completely different perspective of the scenario, seeing things perhaps from your perspective, seeing things, you know, from your vantage point, um, understanding the way that they came off could have come, you know, could have been very childish, very uncaring, um, very self-absorbed, if you will. So maybe now you're really guarded with them and, and rightfully so. So this person knows like even with the emotional roller coaster ride, they could have put you on an emotional co roller coaster ride, kind of giving you mixed signals, um, making you feel, um, you know, like there was a opportunity or a chance for things to take off, but they knew deep down they were still connected and tied to someone, something else, which was the karmic. And after that, you know, after discovering that truth, I feel like that's when you may have like really cut that energy off. Um, completely or cut this person off completely because maybe you never, you know, maybe you were in the friend zone. They friend zoned your ass and you felt like, okay, if I'm friend zoned, then there's no reason to even do this because I don't want to be your friend. I don't, if I can't be nothing else, then I don't even want to be your friend because you felt led on, um, which is why you now have these trust issues. But I feel like with the trust issues, um, that's a lot of what you've been healing. You've been learning the art of forgiveness. You know, you've been learning to forgive, you know, even yourselves to be more compassionate um, towards people and focus on the love and the light. Because as we said earlier, like people know not what they do. You know, so forgiveness is always necessary because someone is always going to disappoint you because, you know, this is an imperfect world, you know. So with you will be the first million millionaire in your dream. I mean, in your family. Well, look at this in your dream. I was reading this card and say, but this is how they feel like whatever skills, gifts and talents that you've been honing, that you've been mastering, that you've been discovering during this process process of healing thyself it's like it's leading you in their minds that they see you as someone very rich you know rich spiritually um they feel that you are uh very gifted very talented they see that you know whatever your skills gifts and talents it's like you've been following these these gifts and it's going to lead to some level of success, some level of luxury, life of lap of luxury. Um, things are absolutely going to expand and grow for you in many ways. Um, we have Shaheen um, and this is called Shallon Style. Uh, and the name of this album is called The Lost Generation. So, yeah, it's like, you know, whatever was lost in the past. It's like you found your niche, you know, you, you whatever was re lost within this con, you know, this context where the, the, the broken heartedness that you had to heal from, it's like you found yourself through some sort of gifts, some sort of talent. And that's what led to you reinventing yourself so much so that they see you as like this multimillionaire, like you're going to be the first millionaire in the family because you're so gifted, you're so talented. And it's because it's like something that comes very naturally you know, this is something you really have a, a, a strong passion for um, and, and something that you were born to do. So it's like it comes effortless. So why is follow your dream here? They also see you as like wish fulfillment, you know, and they're going to feel like a million bucks. You know, they, they really feel I feel like you do something to their self-esteem, you know, because it's like the way you look at them is different from the way any other woman or any other man may look at them. It's like you see them, you see their soul. It's like you look through them and, and you know, look through to their soul, you know, and, and that's what, what they feel with this connection, just a strong, strong chemistry. So why is follow your dreams here for my beloved Scorpio's divine spirit and have a message of love and of light. Thank you. Cause I'm happy. You make them happy and you make them feel brand new. And it says, you can't steal my joy. Your happiness is like, it's literally intoxicating, but it's also, you know, it's something that's addictive. Like you're making other people, it's like, just like they say, like, you know, you, energy is transferable. So it's like this, this elated, this feeling of elation and joy and happiness is almost like it's, it's, um, it's, um, what's that word? You know, I said addictive, you know, but it's it's also like not addictive, but it's um, goodness gracious. I can't stand when I can't remember the word and it be right there on the tip of my tongue. 
whatever. It, it's just like it, you're literally like making them feel even um, even more overjoyed. You know, there's just this magnetism that makes them feel overjoyed. You know, they could have felt very lost in this former relationship. You know, like I said, this emotional roller coaster ride, one minute it's up, next minute it's down. It's always just, just turmoil and trauma and, and, and just arguments and it's, it's, and it's a karmic relationship. So there's all these karmic lessons you have to learn, but it's like this person, you know, that you're attracting, they have this epiphany, uh, or this aha moment, you know, maybe through watching you or listening to you or seeing you or watching your videos or driving by your home and getting a glimpse of you, whatever it is this person does that keeps them kind of grounded and leveled is like what gives them that, that, that push, that courage to, to just like sever the ties, uh, because they're making the decision to get off. You know, it's like, they're finally making that decision. Like it's time to walk away. I can't do this anymore. And, and, and not even so much of a can't, I, I refuse, but this person sees you as someone that brings joy, happiness, and you're not going to let anybody interrupt that. Like you're not letting anyone interfere, um, with your happiness and your joy. You know, they know that you are very guarded. Um, this person really wants to send you a message. You know, um, they, they are up, you know, secret admirer, like writing you letters. It says four page letter. These are my thoughts. Should I send it? Text delete. So this person absolutely is penning letters and very well, you may very well, you know, be picking up on this. This is what's happening privately. This is what's happening behind the scenes, you know, cause this is what's hidden. So, you know, you may be knowing that because like I said, I'm getting high priest, high priestess energy, uh, that Oracle, that sorceress, you could be manifesting all of this. Um, as I said, you know, but there is some communication that's going to be coming and it could be coming in a form of a message, um, you know, an a actual letter. And then we, we see this here. Um, we have uh, you plus me, and then we have SOS ban, and this is like a SOS message, you know, so someone very special is going to be sending you a message and it says, um, just be good to me. So that's all you care about. You don't want, because you've already been hurt. You've already, already been betrayed. So it's like, you already have trust issues. So you're, you're, you're opened to new love, to new opportunities. Um, you know, in order for love to come in, you have to be receptive. Um, but you're, and that's confirmation. My phone just chimed, but it's also hard for you at the same time, because when you trusted before it was, it, it didn't end very well. And you had to really heal because that was deep rooted pain and trauma, but that was preordained and destined for you to do that work. I feel like it says with good things, take time to create um, and it says patience. You've been very patient, which is why you you're starting to pick up. You could feel change in the air. You know, you're having a lot of synchronicities. A lot of messages are coming through. Um, you're seeing angelic numbers. I told you today I saw seven, seven, seven. I saw eight, eight, eight. Um, you know, so you could be having those type of encounters. I saw four, four, four when we first started the reading. Um, I heard an owl outside of my window. So some of you could have had those type of encounters where you may have heard an owl as you were sitting in the bed or sitting on your patio, your porch. Uh, maybe some of you drove by an owl. Maybe some of you have blue herons flying by your home. Um, but these are signs, synchronicities that are letting you know you're on the right path and also letting you know that you're on the precipice of change. There's major changes that are taking place and they're going to make you cheese from ear to ear. These are beautiful changes that are coming in. And it says the courtship, let your guard down. And I was just telling you, you got to be receptive. You have to be open regardless of your trust issues. Remember, we got SOS ban. Just be good to me. So that's all you want is for someone to come in and be genuine, to be their authentic selves and to not be some egomaniac conceited, you know, but privately they have low self-esteem. That's all an act. It's a facade and nobody got time for that. So you don't want the masquerade. You want someone to parade in and be their authentic selves. You want someone to come in rather and be their authentic selves, to be genuine at the end of the day, to be good to you, to speak your love language. You know, as I said, some of you all, your love language is simply just someone saying what they mean and meaning what they say, showing and proving, you know, and not just making empty promises. If you can't do it, that's cool. But don't sit here and, and horse feed me 
bull crap to paint this picture of yourself that you know you very well are not, you know? So it's like, that's just the games, the childishness, the foolery that you don't have time for. So that's why you may be coming off a little guarded, but the divine is telling you, trust your intuition. My phone went off yet again. So we have on the bottom of the deck with SOS band, somebody is going to surprise you because remember we had thunder clapping and this is clarifying the healing card. So I do feel like someone really feels um, compelled to communicate. This is a blue card. Blue deals with the throat chakra as well. Uh, so the throat chakra, as I said, is not just about expressing yourself creatively or artistically. It could also reference the throat chakra in terms of communicating, healing through some sort of conversation, um, unexpected conversation at that. Um, with prepare, take shelter, it could get a little heated or it could be, as I said, this is just showing you the dual meaning of the card. So it doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing uh, that the thunder's clapping, um, but it is giving you, you know, just that, um, just that notion that, you know, this could be either or. So, you know, I have to put both, you know, that, you know, that, that, that both sides of the story on there, but four page letter, someone's really trying to gather their thoughts, uh, trying to figure out how to approach you, what to say. Um, because now I feel like someone has had enough time uh, to see things clearly and, um, you know, what they're feeling right now is, you know, like they want to come in and, and perhaps smooth things over um, because they do see a future with you and them. Um, and right now we have, who is this? This looks like, um, oh, this is um, the Jacksons featuring Diana Ross. And this is called I Want You Back. So this is somebody, you know. So this is this is definitely that friend, like I said. Um, you know, this is the person that could have friend zoned you. And so I see a card in my deck that doesn't belong and it is the eight of cups. So this is someone you walked away from. So this emotional roller coaster ride time to get off and the eight of cups. This is someone you may have walked away from because I feel like you was given to someone and they were not reciprocating. So it was like you felt like you was pouring into, um, you know, some sort of damaged vessel, a vessel with a hole in it. So it was like the more you gave, the more like it, it was just like nothing happened. And remember, I was picking up on earlier, you know, the need, the necessity to, you know, to have equal exchange, equal give and take to delegate, to ask for what you need, to not be, you know, so so over, you know, willing to overcompensate. So maybe that's what you did in that friendship, you know, because maybe you thought that was going to lead to something more. But that was just somebody who, you know, kind of took advantage, could, took your kindness for weakness. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of swords. So this is your energy. Whenever Scorpios uh, transform and go through that startling metamorphosis, um, you know, you, you turn into the queen of swords. So this is like, you know, Wu-Tang style, protect your neck. You're cutting off people, places, things, you're purging things that don't sit right in your spirit. You're like lashing out. You know, you're very guarded, very protective. And this is why trust issues is here for how this person sees you. Um, and with spiritual partnership, you don't want to be tangled with anyone or anything that isn't on a high vibration. So if the energy doesn't sit right, like I said, you're cutting it off expeditiously, immediately. You're not dealing with it because you're not on that type of time. You feel like a lot of your time had already been wasted and you're just not on that type of time. You're not doing that. So you're giving people an opportunity to show and prove with this thunder clapping here because we're about to clarify healing and thunder clapping so it's like, you know, this is unexpected messages. So somebody could literally be coming back asking for your forgiveness because we have um, we have um, Jackson five um, featuring Diana Ross. And it says, um, I want you back. So someone could be pleading, you know, pleading the fifth. Someone could be begging for your forgiveness, seeking, you know, um, for your forgiveness, because uh, I was picking up on that being one of your major lessons also is to show compassion, to not be so judgmental. Uh, because as I said, we're all imperfect. We're all going to make mistakes. And so maybe these were mistakes that needed to happen because these were the ways in which you had to learn those karmic lessons. And now that you're wiser, now you're going to move forward um, and you're going to make more logical decisions opposed to just allowing your heart uh, to trap you into certain situations. So, you know, the clear, you, you can see the clouds are dissipating. So now you are very clear minded. You're very level headed. You know, so you're not going to take too kindly to anyone trying to come around and insult your intelligence, which is why there's a potential, you know, for some, some for some 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 arguments, 
some debates, you know, some screaming matches. But I feel like, you know, if, you, you know, she is smiling, you know, the Queen of Swords, I never see the Queen of Swords uh, smiling on, you know, any of the tarot cards. So this does mean to me, like I was saying, that there's going to be, you know, just an unexpected conversation. Um, but it can lead to some healing because we are clarifying the healing card. So I digress. Let's go ahead, get back, jump back into it. Give me one moment. Let me fix my cards. One moment. All right. Thank you so much. So when I fix my cards, the bottom of the deck now is the three of cups. So this is absolutely someone coming from your past, an old friend thinking, you know, of, you know, how to come back in, um, you know, and we did have, you know, somebody that wanted to, you know, because we had um, Let's Chill by Guy um, and with the future. So they can be trying to, you know, figure out, you know, how to invite you out, you know, and remember we had, um, I said, I did mention like, you know, maybe listening to a live band, you know, listening to some music, sitting down, you know, eating at a candlelit dinner, something to that effect. Uh, someone that, you know, you share the same likeness of music, same genre of music. You enjoy the same type of music. We have loose ends and this is called slow down. So there is uh, definitely someone that wants to tie up some loose ends. Um, this is someone that you have felt like you carried the relationship on your back alone. Like there was no uh, equal exchange of give or take. It was just like all you. And so you had to cut that off. You know, the world, this is the world card and the three of cords, um, three of cords, three of swords. So this is absolutely like the transformation, you learning um, your worth, your value. This is reaching that level of self mastery, learning how to navigate difficult connections, relationships, standing in your power, discovering your worth, your value, um, you know, really just exhibiting and exuding self love, um, showing self respect ultimately, and, you know, learning to co create with source, um, utilizing the power of as above, so be below, as within, so without. This is truly like the energy of alchemy, magi energy. Uh, so, master the manifesting, being that, that divine feminine, divine masculine, co-creating, as I said, transmuting the pain and turn it in, you know, turning it into power. So let's see. Let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got. This is it. We're going to get these messages. I feel good with the shuffle. And then we're going to shuffle these cards or cut the deck, I should say. Let's see what we got. I'm feeling like doing it. Three times again. Bottom of the deck is going to clarify healing and thunder clapping. And we have we have the Knight of Wands. So with slow down. So someone definitely, you know, what I'm saying and I'm hearing the term slow it down so I could get it right. So, you know, with slow down, the Knight of Wands literally speeds. They be in, out. They're impulsive. They're unreliable. So maybe this person has had to learn to kind of slow down and you can see clearly with, you know, this is a person like coming out of a snake. So maybe this person has had to shed, you know, some sort of old version of themselves. They had to be like this death, you know, because the, the snake also represents change and transformation as well. Um, so I do feel like, you know, this person has also changed, you know, and you could see the smoke kind of dissipating and the sun breaking out. So this person has been enlightened. I feel like this person may have been a snake in the past. Maybe they was like almost, you know, that type of person that, you know, uh, cut their nose off to spite their own face. They did a lot of things that was self-sabotaging. This person could have been ruled by their phallus or could have been real fast and ass. you know, someone that was very promiscuous, you know. But I do feel like there's an apology. Maybe someone is coming out um, a little wiser. You know, this is someone that has a lot of passion, but they're also coming towards you. Maybe they're coming back, um, you know, because they would like to heal the connection. Maybe they were speeding in the past, you know, just kind of like I said, in and out, flighty, all over the place, unreliable, very impulsive in their actions. You know, there for a good time, but not a long time. And so with loose ends, you know, you felt like this, like I said, this person was a little fast, which is loose, you know, very loose. You know, back in the t days, the elders used to be like, oh, she loose, you know, meaning like just, you know, just giving it to everybody, anybody, you know. So with healing, uh, maybe someone betrayed your trust. Maybe they really um, they were infidel. You know, there were some inf infidelities in a relationship. Um, and that was because somebody was a super hoe. Somebody was like, you know, literally like, you know, out there trying to be a player player from the Himalaya. 
And so, you know, maybe there was some news that came through. Maybe somebody's going to be honest and own what they did and apologize. And that could be why there's thunder clapping, because this is going to be a painful revelation or truth or admittance of the truth. Um, and you may have to prepare for that with the death card. This is your transformation. This this truth, whatever this is, it has caused major transformation, you know, and we have jagged edge and this is called healing. And we're referencing we're talking about the healing card. So you definitely had to heal from whatever this betrayal was, because the death is literally like, you know, a betrayal. It's it's literally being deceived by people that you trusted, people that you held in high regard. Um, but they didn't kill you. They didn't bury you. Because uh, you cannot bury a seed. A seed is meant to grow. And not only have you grown, you have flourished. As I said before, you didn't go through anything. You grew through these experiences. This is what, you know, learning is all about. You know, you, you're never going to become a great healer if you don't first heal yourself. And you have to heal from something. So this is your testimony. And I feel like this testimony, you could see she's larger than all the people around her. And so this is speaking to you, know, you evolving, you emerging, um, very powerful. Um, but this is also a death uh, which has led to someone's major transformation. Losing you felt like a death. Losing you uh, caused, you know, uh, some sort of um, activation or triggered someone to to change, you know. And with healing, you know, this this is really um triggered them to do their internal work, to heal themselves, um, to not be sneaky, to not be someone that's like an opportunist or taking advantage, you know, just, just be, be, um, you know, always function and with love and light, you know, that sun represents, you know, strength and it represents illumination, clarity. Um, this is really someone taking ownership and accountability. Um, and, and, and really, you know, as I said, like, changing um for the better i see this as changing for the better so that's powerful so the death card is here we're about to clarify how your person feels in their energy and we have the death so there is a karmic relationship we saw karmic completion at the uh, bottom of the numerology deck and now we have the death card so with emotional roller coaster ride and time to get off this uh, this person is getting off because they feel that this is leading to nowhere there's no you know they've reached the end of the road um, and they want to focus on their healing. Uh, this green definitely speaks to, you know, emotional healing, the need to, you know, focus on grounding themselves um, and growing, you know, as a better person. So there's been some sort of, you know, spiritual uh, or divine interventions, downloads that they have been receiving with that 11. Um, and they've, they're being obedient. Uh, they're listening to their higher selves. Tell them, look, it's time to get off this emotional roller coaster ride because this is a dead end. This is not going to take you anywhere. You're just going to be going through this for the next 11 years. You know, you're just going to be repeating cycles. Um, roller coasters have their ups and downs, and you know, you get sick, you get nauseous. So this person is really physically getting sick uh, and tired. I feel of going through this constant up and down. Uh, with whoever this karmic is and they're ready to get off so they're leaving they're walking away may, they're making that decision and this is the death you know the death of this old connection so let's see why is nature um an emotional roller coaster right here for the person scorpio is attracting and right now we have faith evans and the name of this song is give it to me so this person is holding on to faith uh praying and wishing upon a star you know, that's what faith is, hope, holding on to hope. All right. So we have a message here. Okay. I'm gonna let that fall because it wants to fall. And so we have the King of Cups. So this is absolutely someone who has been really reserved, you know, and, and, and this makes so much sense because I was picking up on someone that was not communicating how they felt, um, you know, and, and that's typically how a King of Cups is. They're very reserved. They bottle up their feelings inside, but they have deep, deep emotions. So this person does feel love and this is something I feel they have suppressed and you can see clearly again, you know, the, the clouds are dissipating and the sun is beaming. So this person is fully aware and this is the first smiling king of cups. There's a lot of smiling faces here, you know, and so I feel like it's because, like I said, like your happiness is it's also um, it's like um contagious that's the word i was looking for before um so it's like your happiness your joy is very contagious your your radiating love and light so it's like it's just 
coming off easily, um, you know, or it's just radiating or you're emitting or e uh, how do you, I'm, I'm just like, there's so many things coming to me and I'm trying to say everything I'm hearing, but it's like, it's like you're exuding this love and light. So it's just like they, they're naturally, you know, feeling that energy. They're naturally feeling this love. So it's really like they want to give the love to you, you know, because it says, give it to me. So this person does, like I said, see you as someone that they can plant seeds and roots with. Um, this is someone that feels that you are down to earth and they could be their authentic selves. Um, this is someone that does feel like this connection is a solid connection and there can be distance um, between you and this person. But it's like they have something they want to offer you and it looks like some sort of stone. Um, I was speaking to stones earlier. So this person could have been utilizing stone. Uh, maybe you all have been like, you know, really uh, making some sort of suggestions. And it's like this person wants to come in and show you like, you know, some of the things that you have uh, been saying they have been taking heed to but the name of the song is also called give it to me so maybe this person wants to gift you with some sort of stone and i'm hearing like a cathedral and the cathedrals are literally like those big tall cathedral geodes um so that could be something that you all have been like really wanting and maybe this person is realizing that and they want to gift you with that or maybe this person just wants to gift you with a rock that looks like a rock and so a rock is literally a term uh for like a diamond so that could be someone proposing and this is going to come off very natural because they feel like the two of you, the connection, it just, it just, it's a very organic connection, chemistry, synergy you two have, and they feel drawn to you and they know it's love. It's like you make them feel, look how smooth the waters are. It's like with them, if they feel like it's just smooth sailing with you, whereas with that past person, there was a lot of emotional roller coaster rides that they did not um, necessarily want to ride. Um, so we have here the eight of pentacles. So they're willing to work with you. They're willing to come in and, and give equally, because as I said in the past, I was just picking up on the fact that, you know, maybe it was an imbalance within the connection and now they want to work together, but they see that you're very busy. You know, you're very focused on whatever it is you're doing. This is you with your eyes on the prize. Uh, but this is someone that really truly wants to come in and um, build an alliance, um, you know, build some sort of partnership, a connection. Um, this is also collaboration. Um, and they know that you've been hurt because they know they also have hurt you, but they also want to show you that they're willing to, um, invest. This is like investing long-term. Um, and you've been working really hard that you've been able to accumulate eight pentacles all in your own. You're all, you're only two pentacles shy of, you know, having the 10 of pentacles, which is the ultimate, like, Fulfillment, you know, feeling fulfilled, both financially, feeling grounded, feeling stable, independent, self-sufficient. And this is leading to some sort of lucrative business deals because now you can invest in your dreams uh, and you're happy because now you can manage your money. Now you have more to work with. So there is this sense of like, you know, money management, like you saving more, having a savings and you're saving for, you know, the future. This even looks like a safe, you know, when you look at this here back there what he's working on it looks almost like a safe so it's like you have life savings you have a will set up for your children you have some sort of um financial um um abundance that you are um saving up and look at this we have the knight of pentacles here so this is someone that's been really taking their time uh, because they want to come in and get it right in the past. This person may have not made any movements, um, towards you, but this time they're coming in willing to give, um, like we had before we had give it to me. So they know that in order to, uh, to show you, they're going to have to show you with their actions. Uh, we have de la soul and this is called watch out. Um, and so this person is like, they're coming and I feel like with watch out, you know, this is going to be uh, something unexpected because as I said, I feel like, you know, wish fulfillment, blessings, some sort of miracle, uh, an answered prayer. And this is going to make you very happy. So it's like, look out for this, be prepared for this, be receptive, be open. Um, because this is going to bring a lot of joy. I feel like this person is coming in to show and prove because they have learned that is your love language. So there's no more going to be any empty promises. No one's going to be, you know, mute. They're not going to be shy from expressing themselves like they're literally coming in because in both of these cards, you know, I see this king 
is really giving, you know, so you're, this is your match. This is, you know, that, that um, suit for the queen of cups. So this, this king is smiling and cheesing. Um, even this knight appears to be like smiling and grinning, you know, so there's, there's a sense of peace and happiness. And like I said, your, your happiness is contagious. Um, and, and you even have, you know, this, this, and he looks more like a king than a knight. You know, the way he's dressed, he's riding this this big, beautiful elephant and elephants are symbolisms of uh, not only wisdom, but also abundance and prosperity. And this person is coming in willing to give, willing to give, because I feel like in the past you had a lot of people taking. So we have the two of swords. So remember, that was that two minds I was speaking of. This is someone literally in two minds confused, but I feel like they're going to trust you know, their own intuition and they're going to trust what makes them feel happy. I feel like this person has really been, um, you know, at war with someone. If you look in the background, the picture is like someone shooting a plane out of the sky. So it's like someone was kind of like shooting. It's almost like somebody was shooting someone down, um, trying to steal someone's joy, trying to steal someone's happiness, um, trying to sabotage, um, you know, because when you're shooting a plane down, it's like you're, you're trying to kill someone's dreams. But it's like this is why it says um, you can't steal my joy. So even those that were trying to sabotage uh, people that were two faced because I get two faces from this also. So these are people that speak out of both sides of their mouth, people that were real, um, real jealous, real envious. It's like you're still achieving your goals. You're still mastering your craft and there's still going to be wish fulfillment and some sort of abundance and blessings being showered upon you. We have Gar Gary Bartz and this is called I Concentrate on You. So you do have, um, like that card said, because remember we had their tuning in. So it said um, you had um, people that were obsessed, you had secret admirers, and then you also had stalker alerts. So this is also just showing like people literally watching you, um, you know, your dreams are coming true. Um, you're achieving things that you may have spoken of and, you know, everybody is not going to be happy for you. And this is literally what that is, because as you can see here, someone's trying to shoot down, um, you know, this, this plane that could also be like your ancestors that are um, protecting you from potential threats, you know, people that could be kind of like spying. This could be some sort of like, you know, spying, you know, this plane could literally be spying. Um, you know, it's one of those, um, one of those, uh, it made, it makes more sense in my mind. I can't say everything. It's like so hard to break it down, but literally this is literally like your, I feel like, you know, this could also be, um, perceived as like your ancestors protecting you from, you know, those, um, those um enemy planes enemy um enemy those threats you know whatever that could be threatening whatever this wish fulfillment is because this is something that could potentially be trying to block some sort of blessing or your happiness and with you can't steal my joy I, and seeing you know that depiction up there it just those two just kind of came to me um but i feel like you're going to be happy regardless uh maybe this is that that karmic that could be trying to come in and sabotage the connection and you know whatever it is whoever's stuck in two minds they will see things clearly they will get the clarity um because they're going to concentrate on you um they're concentrating on you they're concentrating on this connection and they're going to give because they're investing long term they're not coming into play they're not coming in to waste your time they're not coming in to toy with you they're coming in to give equally and they're coming in bearing gifts um so this person has come a long way um and they're coming in uh i feel hot and heavy you know uh and as we see here with good thing good i say good teens so <laughs> uh that's a, that's because i'm hanging around a lot of a lot of my jamaicans that patois be coming out but um but good things take time to create is really is really saying that you know whatever this wish fulfillment is this is something that you have prayed for and asked for so just focus on what it is you desire because what you give attention to is what you ultimately will manifest because as you think, if you create, so just keep that in mind. And I feel like you're focusing on love and light. You're focusing on, you know, the good vibrations, the high vibrations, and you're attracting something very beautiful, um, something beautiful, someone willing to put in just as much work, you know, just as much of a collaborative effort. Um, as you, someone willing to compromise as well. So why is spirituality and good things take time to create? We got a card here. 
And so look what we have. We have the seven of pentacles. So this is how you literally feel. So we got seven, seven, seven. See that? So 77 and then we got seven. So that's why the divine is telling you, you know, good things take time to create because you may have felt like you've been working so hard and nothing. But I feel like it's it, there's something coming and you just have to, you know, you just have to be patient in the process. Um, when I look up here, I see a lot of uh, it looks like almost like military men or armies, you know, and I just feel like that's just your spirit team uh, kind of conspiring behind the scenes because I do remember seeing like nine. Um, and I was speaking to the, you know, that being the highest vibration of change, but that also represents incubation, something that is being conspired behind the scenes by your ancestors. So all of the work and, and, and all of the effort is not going and falling upon deaf ears or eyes. Like I said before, I felt like a standing ovation in the spirit realm, like they're really proud of you. And some of you all may be getting tired. You may be growing impatient because you feel like you've been waiting, but spiritually and psychically, intuitively, you know something's coming and this isn't just any old something this is something that's going to you know literally make you feel very grounded balanced and in a line because this is someone that's going to invest long term this is someone that's going to completely be into you because they're going to concentrate on you so much so that you're going to have this the ten of cups this is exactly what you have prayed for asked for this is why you're going to be cheesing and it's because, as I always say, self-love makes you more attractive. So when you love yourself, you teach other people how to treat you. Um, and that also shows people that you care about yourself and that when they come in, they know that you have some sort of objective, some sort of goal. Like you're not playing with life like you, you out here making things move and shape. And so this is the energy of like tr complete elation, uh, complete emotional fulfillment, contentment. This is someone that absolutely is going to speak your love language and be attentive, be available, be affectionate, be honest, be communicative, trustworthy, loyal, faithful. Speak your love language, be communicative so that you don't have to guess. This is Mama Oya bringing this change. You can see a beautiful ancestor here. And this is why I was saying that I was picking up on the energy of like your ancestors are conspiring. You may have like four or five, six, um, six. Um, there could be six different people. Um, I'm picking up on the number six. So I don't know if someone passed away on the sixth or if someone's solar return falls on the sixth. Um, maybe someone passed away six years ago, but for whatever reason, reason I'm getting six because I see one, I see two, I see three, four, five, six. Oh, seven, seven, seven is the number. My bad. It's seven because I'm, I'm counting these other entities and energies. So that one right there, anything in like a great energy to me feels more like an ancestor, a spirit guide, a angel, a deity. Um, so I see you know, here, one, and then I see one there, two, and then I see this one here, three, and then I see these four up here, four, five, six, seven. So the seventh, I feel like someone's solar return, maybe someone that's coming in, their solar return could be in the seventh month on the seventh day, or maybe seven is a significant number to you all. It could be a life path number. Maybe some of you all are seeing seven, seven, seven. I saw seven, seven, seven today, seven, um, like I said, um, that's my life path number. Um, but you also may have, um, seven might be a significant number. Maybe someone was born in the seventh month on the seventh day that may have passed on maybe seven months ago, seven years ago, um, maybe seven days ago. I also feel, you know, like I said, like you, you really, um, have a lot of ancestors and angels that are collaborating behind the scenes uh, to bring you into alignment with your divine masculine because uh, we did see that 11-11 earlier and I feel like this is going to bring a lot of joy. This is bringing families together and I feel like your families are just going to blend beautifully, blend together. Um, it's just going to be a very beautiful, maybe this will be a blended family, you know, um, you know, where you may have children already or this person may have children already and then you will become, you know, the step parent, you know, or the parent you know, the, the, you know, to that, that person's child or their children or vice versa. Um, cause I keep hearing the word blended. Uh, but I do feel like, you know, also again, that, that rainbow, if you look at it, it looks like a snake. And as I said, snakes represent and are indicative of change. So this is the very same person 
you know, that could be coming in, you know, that same person that's busting out of this snake is literally, you know, the change that is coming in, which is the person and they're in a boat. So this is someone that has been at a distance that is coming toward you. Um, and this is someone that could have been, you know, kind of, you know, uh, planning it, preparing it because there's a boat here. So they've been they've been on their way. You know, there's communication that's coming in also. Um, and this is seven also. So remember, we got 61 and I saw seven angelic phys figures or divine entities, energies. Some of you all may be seeing seven. Some of you could have been born on 11, seven. Some of you all could have been born 11, 25. Uh, some of you all could have um, a seven life path number. Maybe someone you're dealing with was born in the seventh month, but seven seems to be very significant here. Um, but we see also the 61 reduces to seven. So trust your intuition. Um, pay attention, you know, just pay attention. You know, sometimes you got to just like unplug, disconnect. Um, you know, that's why I haven't been very active on my social media because I've literally been just like tuning into myself. When you so tapped into virtual reality and watching TV all the time and all it's like you're taking away the very, you know, important time that you could be utilizing to connect with yourself and to to master yourself, you know, to connect with the divine, to, you know, improve that self, to get those downloads. So, you know, self-love, you are really literally attracting um, people that are drawn to you because of your transformation, because of your growth. We saw the death card, which is the card of Scorpio. You know, you've gone through some major heartbreak changes, you know, sudden upheavals, but you landed on your feet. Um, and now you're going to be celebrating. This is like celebratory energy. And I feel like whoever you're attracting, they're going to court you. Uh, they're going to be very charming. This is someone that's going to like put you first. They're going to be able to, um, be attentive because they've done their work. I feel like you're attracting someone who is very secure in their manhood. So they're very emotionally intelligent. Um, and they're also able to be vulnerable. They don't look at that as a weakness. Um, they look at that as a strength. So I do feel strongly like this person that's coming in with I concentrate on you by Gary Bartz is absolutely going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled and happy and elated and you're going to be cheesing from ear to ear and that's why the divine is telling you like you got to let your guard down um you got to be willing and, and able to uh open up you know to receive to be receptive um to have someone show you the love you know because you are very attractive to someone and this is something they will communicate because i see this blue here um they like i said i just get a strong feeling because there's a lot of jazz playing on today's um you know, channel messages. So I feel strongly like this person is going to take you to a live band. Like you're going to be somewhere listening to a live band. Uh, and this person, cause remember we had let's chill. So they may invite you out to go sit down and have a bite to eat. And they may take you to a jazz club or take you somewhere where there's a live band playing. And, you know, it's just going to be a beautiful setting where you're going to hear instruments and, you know, this beautiful orchestra of music. And it's just going to make you feel good. And you're going to just think about this reading like, oh, my God, Q said this was totally going to happen. <laughs> Let me stop. But, yeah, so let's see. Why is self-love? She's it from ear to ear here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. Let's see what we got. Why is self-love and cheesing from ear to ear? And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups and another smile, big old smile. So there goes the charming, chivalrous, you know, person coming in, masculine, willing to give. And, and, and look at that. He ain't willing to give just love, but he's also willing to, like, give the love, if you know what I'm saying. Because he's on a rabbit. It looks like a, a rabbit. And rabbits are very fertile, you know. So this person may want you to be like, you know, they may want to plant some seeds, like, literally. <laughs> they may literally and figure want to plant seeds in your womb ladies so be mindful i'm hearing like they want they were humping like rabbits you know back in the days that's what they used to say that like <laughs> so just be mindful because this is somebody that really enjoys um being in your presence they enjoy you know the female anatomy you know they they really really are looking to to explore if you know what i mean and uh, cheesing from ear to ear, the courtship. So this that entails everything, not just whining and dining, but 
also, you know, the foreplay, the the intimacy, all of those things, um, because they do find you attractive. Um, you know, self-love makes you more attractive. This is an orange card. That's the sacral. That's the color of like the, you know, that Aphrodite. Um, so she's very sexual, very beautiful, very attractive, period. Um, and she owns her beauty. She owns her strength. You know, she knows that's her, her strength is her sexuality. Um, and she doesn't hide from it. Uh, so this is that energy that they're completely uh, drawn to. With the Four of Pentacles, I was feeling like somebody was holding on to you, especially energetically. You know, even if you hadn't spoken to this person, they're wearing a mask. So this is absolutely somebody that has been hiding their feelings. Um, but they've had that epiphany. Remember, I was speaking to somebody having like some sort of, you know, grand epiphany. Um, you know, just evolved perspective. That light bulb going off is like, aha. Scorpio is the person after all. And see the thunder? Look at that, that, that lightning, rather. And remember, we had lightning, uh, the thunder clapping here, lightning reference. I was speaking to, you know, someone, um, you know, unexpectedly communicating. So whatever this person was trying to hide, um, you could see here, you know, there's a lot of bags of, of pentacles. So this is really somebody that wants to come in and invest. And I feel like, you know, maybe in the past they was being a little selfish, um, they weren't really giving equally, but I feel now, you know, they've had some sort of epiphany, aha moment that, you know, they need to be more giving, more available. Um, here goes the King of Swords. So this person is going to communicate. They had the com this, this aha. They're going to be very honest. Um, right now, there's no communication because the sword is down. Uh, but I do feel like they've they've had some sort of um, epiphany. And I feel like they're being led by their higher self, you know, like they're angels. He's wearing this beautiful feather um, headdress. So it's like the angels are leading this person. And remember, we had the purple on the inside. So this is the divine downloads. This is the number 74, which is 11. But that's divine interventions, download, spirit team, telling them, speak up, speak your truth, say what you feel um, with self-love. And we got Max, um, Maxima, uh, Maxwell, and this is called Luxury Coco Cure. And um, the name of the album was Embrya. So like I was saying, incubate, incubation. So this person is preparing to come to you. See that? Look at this. I can't make this up. You got the chariot that came out. So they're rushing towards you because now they feel balanced. Now they feel secure. Now they feel more courageous, more confident. They had to work on themselves. They had to have that ego death. And they're charging in with force, with confidence and assertiveness. This person has love for you. This is the eight, ace of cups. And they want to live this lap of luxury with you, which is, which is why, you know, they, they've really been hiding these feelings. Um, but now they realize it. And didn't I say I felt high priestess? You know this. You could feel it. Look at this. You got your head turned, but your eyes is watching. So it's like they're watching you. You're watching them. The moon is here and the nine of wands. So you, you've given, you know, somebody is sick over you, too. They've been hiding these feelings. They, they made themselves sick. Because they've literally been hiding these feelings. And I feel like, you know, you knew all along what this person was feeling. You know, this is literally, these are the towers. Both of you all were mirroring one another. Going through some sort of karmic lessons. Having to break those yokes. Both of you all was hiding things from one another, perhaps. And, you know, maybe going through that, that karmic uh, completion um, that you experienced. They were going through their own version of that and so that's the work that needed to be done before the two of you could come together but i do feel that this is your energy very guarded feeling like you've given people you know chance after chance opportunity after opportunity and you just felt taken for granted but i do feel like you're standing your ground and you're not going to be open unless somebody comes to you um honest you know and with a uh, luxury this is someone now who has the the freedom I'm hearing and the luxury to come towards you because they've already gotten off of some sort of, you know, roller coaster ride of a relationship. Um, this was a friend, you know what I'm saying? And this was someone that you, you, you could have, you know, been friend zoned or they could have friends, you know, you could have friend zoned them or they could have friend zoned, zoned you. Um, but I feel like this is someone that feels a stronger connection and chemistry and they feel this so much so that they're going to be charging towards you with this because this is also seven. This is like um, this is a, the, the cancer card. This is also a cancer. So you, you're really this is love here. The ace of cups also came out. So this is why you're going to be cheesing because somebody's literally coming in to court you and this person ain't coming to play. 
you know, they, they, whatever stubbornness they were suffering from before, it's like they put that aside. Now they're coming after what they want. And with the king of, Cup, the king of swords, like that's a, a, a straight shooter. So he's not biting his tongue. He's going to say it like a T.I. is. You know, even if that's divine feminine energy, the queen of swords, because remember that came out also. So they don't they don't play games. They say what they mean, you know, and this is a very intelligent person. And that's what I felt like they're attracted to. This is what they're drawn to. You're you're also, you know, very intelligent, very spiritual, very psychic. So you can feel all of this. Um, you're guarded, but you're still open. That's why you're still looking to. You know, the past, you're like if this is a friend, an old friend, you're still open to the past. You're not communicating, you know, but you're still open because your your little sword is is or, or uh, you know, whatever that is, spear or whatever that is, that that's also down, you know. But you can sense somebody's coming in with communication because there's like a bird, you know, right above uh, this, this, this masculine's head. So it's like you're also highly intuitive and you're picking up on you know these messages intuitively or you could be getting a lot of downloads during you know the nighttime like I said during dreams uh you may be getting like real lucid dreams or maybe this person is having them but there's some sort of truth coming to light or something that was hidden from you that's coming to light um and that could be you know what causes a little bit of like oh my god clutch the pearls but at the end of the day I feel like there's also good news coming out um you know, someone may say something that you're not expecting. Simply, it could be just that. But they're rushing in because now, you know, they're rushing in quickly too. look at this, this tornado right behind them. So, you know, this is like I said, that's like unexpected. I just feel like that's unexpected. This is something that could truly be like, it's a positive thing, you know, because the chariot that that to me is also like twin flame vibrations because there's, you know, these dual animal totems on there. So that's beautiful, as is. Here, it's like these two hyenas. That looks like more hyena than wolves, wolves to me. And then we have Nas. And it says the um, do-rags and lost tapes. So, yeah, as I'm speaking to, you know, someone dreaming, do-rags is something that you know, masculines wear, uh, you know, to, to, you know, maintain their hair, to, to give them waves. There's like these, you know, nice little hairstyle for men uh, that gives them waves. They put a little something in their hair and then they put the do rag on and it gives them this nice little lines of waves um so maybe some of you all like i said you know at nighttime you could be having a lot of um a lot of dreams dream activity um in regards to someone or you could be picking up on someone um that could be dreaming of you thinking of you uh but there is you know a, a hint of like some deception here someone was deceiving themselves when it came to how they felt because as i said See you as the divine feminine. You got the empress here. Um, and you've turned your back on a lot of that. And there goes an owl totem that I said I heard. And I even played the video, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or the audio for you uh, in the beginning of the reading. So someone was deceiving themselves, you know, trying to play hard to get, you know, thinking the grass was green on the other side, you know, thinking everything that glitters is, you know, was gold, but it wasn't. And so now this is someone that really wants to come back, apologize, wants to right their wrongs. Um, and I feel like they're being encouraged, you know, by this spirit team, you know, because we have this lion here, you know, and this lion is not stupid. The lion is literally the king of the jungle. So whatever tricks that this little uh, monkey is playing on this lion, it isn't going to end well for them because it's like the mask that they're wearing to trick the lion is eventually going to fall off. And so that's literally what happened. And I feel like that's what happened in someone's karmic relationship, either yours, theirs, or both relationships. The jig is up. It's like the cycle's complete. The karmic lessons have been learned. And so now it's time to live in your truth, in your authenticity, and start doing what's, uh, you know, what's best for you. And so, you know, this is called the lost tapes. Um, and so, you know, whatever was lost, it could be found again, except for time. And so I feel like this person is doubling back around to come and get love, uh, trying to reclaim that love that they felt with you uh, because time isn't promised. Time is currency now. And so this person wants to absolutely like, you know, recapture um, the connection they have only with you because this is the connection that they feel this strong bond and chemistry and synergy with. So they wanting to work together. You know, they they definitely 
were confused and conflicted, but I feel like there's a sense of clarity now um, of seeing the truth. Uh, this could also be saying and indicating that they're seeing things from an aerial view. You know, this plane um, could also be an aerial view. Um, you know, but I also feel like this person is now seeing how they could have sabotaged this connection uh, by not looking at things clearly and by being so superficial. So now, you know, whatever two faced, you know, energy, you know, that they they were showing up as I feel like they are now uh, taking onus and accountability. And there's going to be uh, some sort of um, ownership. Feel like they're going to take onus you know of what they did they're going to be accountable because now this time around they're going to be transparent you know i don't feel like they're going to play any games because this king of swords is showing me transparency after them being you know kind of confused conflicted and in two minds um so this is a beautiful reading i absolutely am feeling like somebody's coming back to offer you love uh and they're coming back to court you uh this is someone charming my phone just went off so that's confirmation but I do want to say thank you so much uh, for tuning and tapping in. Uh, I send you beautiful, beautiful love and light. I will. Everyone is bliss. I will that you all enjoy the rest of your Saturn day. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. I want to give a shout out to another beautiful soul that sent me a love donation um, this week. I want to say thank you. To the beautiful, beautiful queen. Give me one moment. Let me get that that name for that queen. Uh, 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 uh. All right. So we have. Um, where are you, beautiful soul? Oh, there it is. I want to say thank you to Lakeisha Boone, my beautiful soul sister. Thank you so much for your love donation. I rotate that back to you. May you receive that infinitely and then some all right thank you all for your likes your shares your comments thank you all for your beautiful comments i appreciate you i apologize that i have not been on it as of late um i promise you i will do better with that but i am so thankful uh to have you all here you all feel like family and i'm glad that i could be a vessel to just give you these messages um and I hope they resonate with you all. But thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. We're closing out with Gary Bartz. Uh, and this is called Lost in the Stars. So this person is lost in the stars, lost in your star quality, uh, lost in the fact that you're radiating love and light. Um, this is someone that may also stargaze. Maybe you find yourselves stargazing, uh, sending up those prayers, petitions, speaking those daily mantras, affirmations, and there's just wish fulfillment. I feel like you're going to be lost in some sort of wish fulfillment, exciting news coming in for you all. Just stay tuned. Stay positive. Remember, as you think, if you create. So stay on the positive note. Uh, don't get, you know, trapped in the sunken place in you know, ruminating in the negativity. It's a very, very. Um, it's a lot of energy going on right now. There's a lot of people suffering from mental illness, but also there's a lot of people who are, um, you know, teetering on like suicidal ideation. Like there's a lot of people like speaking about feeling these suicidal thoughts and we gotta, we gotta protect ourselves, you know, um, because there's a lot of psychic attacks. There's a lot of spiritual transmitted diseases going on out here. And you got to be mindful of who you're around. Also have to be mindful of who you're laying down with, being intimate with, um, and who you're listening to, ultimately. Because uh, you got a lot of Debbie Downers and negative Nancys and lying ass Larrys and just, you know, just parasitic energy vampires um, out here. So just be mindful to protect your energy. That's why I was saying earlier, like, wear your protective jewelry, amulets, you know, wear your, your protective um, oils, you know, take your spiritual baths on a regular basis, speak your prayers over yourselves, smudge your homes, clean your homes, cleanse your homes, um, you know, sit out in, in, in nature, connect, uh, ground yourselves, do some grounding rituals, um, take your shoes off. If it's not too cold, um, just take your shoes off and, and stick them in the dirt, like literally ground yourself, release, transmute negativity, um, go to the a body of water and do that. Um, you know, if you can, you know, if you have a beach in your town, you grew up in a beach town, do that. I don't care if it's 50 degrees. You can, you, you could stand in 50 degree water. You ain't going to die. <laughs> you 
Just do a releasing ceremony. I feel that strongly. Grounding ceremony, releasing ceremony, and just let stuff go, you know, because there's so much new energy coming in and it will just hold you back and delay you um, if you're just holding on to the past, holding on, um, you know, to what was, you know, what will be can never come if you're still holding on to what was. You know, so just keep that in mind. But we're going to end it there. Thank you so much. Um, we got KRS one. This is called out of here. So I'm going to end it there. Um, <laughs> and uh, I just want to say thank you all for tuning in. It's happening until next time. Big fat I'll shake to you all. Peace.